What's up YouTube, it's D-Man Titan here, and today I'll be showing you how to save your SHSH files or blobs on Windows. Um, yeah, I'm coming to you with my new setup here on my Windows machine. I currently got a compact Presario, uh 64-bit Windows 7 Ultimate. I uh, just got this computer about two weeks ago. So I've been setting this up, so new videos come on this. But anyways, let's get to the video. Uh, so you want to get a program called Tiny Umbrella, and I'm searching it here. Um, you can get this program anywhere. Um, just type in Google and just search Tiny Umbrella. I'll have that for you also. So we're uh, launching up here. Uh, it's loading up for the first time, so it's going to take a little while. Okay, um, these are not too important. They're just telling you that um, about proxy settings and all that garbage. You got to hit OK. Um, just going to hit OK. They're trying to tell you to save everything backed up. Um, all right, now here you can see my connected device. This is Drew Hall's iPhone. Um, basically, with this program, you can do it. It's a really cool program. I'm going to fold this full screen this because I can if it'll let me uh, no, Windows 7 fail okay um, you can basically put your device into recovery mode so you can uh, restore your device you can exit recovery mode um, and you can fix recovery mode so you can exit um, recovery so say your device got stuck in the DFU mode and you think your device is bricked you can use this as a very good tool but that's not what I'm showing you today today I'm showing you how to save your SHSH files which help you downgrade whenever you want if you have these saved on a specific firmware. Now down here you see that I have my iPhone 4 CDMA uh, 4.2.10 to uh, 5.0 saved. Uh, 4.2.7, 4.2.8, 4.2.9. Um, I've been saving these for a while because I knew this was going to happen. Apple implemented um, the error that they're not letting us sign um, basically they're new firmware so you cannot downgrade once you upgrade um, I try to warn you guys in the past but some of you are now stuck I'm trying to help you out with this so um, you can look at my downgrade video I'll have it in the description for you sometimes it'll work but on 5.0 and up it won't work anymore so this is what this is an alternative if you're still on a lower firmware and you're not on 5.0 yet um, you can do this so uh, you want to go to advanced here and you're going to make sure all these are checked um, you want to overwrite them uh, request Cydia as, uh, request SHSH files from Cydia that's if you're jailbroken if you're not you can uncheck this um, if you and yes you can use this and not be jailbroken this is a great tool this that's why I love this program you also need the latest version of iTunes this is very important um, it won't work as well without the latest version of iTunes. Let your iPhone or iPod or iPad recognize into iTunes, and then you can you're good to go to uh, backup. So what you're gonna do here is hit the Save SHSH button after your device is plugged in and recognized, and it's gonna get a little scrub bar down here. It's pretty cool. It shows you all of your credentials on here. I don't really care. You can have my serial number. This is all legal now. Jailbreaking is legal. You don't need to hide anything anymore. That's cool. Um, also, another cool thing uh, you can do while this is saving. Sorry, there's was a little glitch there. Um, there's a log, and you can actually watch what it's doing. Uh, I'm frozen here again, and there we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so the scrub bar is finished, but you can actually look through the log and it'll actually tell you what it's doing, which is pretty cool. Um, and you can also use this as a tool to see if there's errors found and you can search them on YouTube. But they did find my SHSH file and they have saved them. Now this, what this does is actually backs up to your computer and your device. Your device installs the, and it pretty much embeds the SHSH files into your phone. Um, no, this cannot be traced by Apple, which is very good, and uh, this will help you downgrade. So if you went into iTunes, you would be able to downgrade to a lower firmware that you're currently on or want to go to. 
um, and this makes the process much easier. So hopefully this helped, guys. Um, sorry if it was a little confusing. Um, I'll try to put down some directions in the bottom bar below. Um, but you, what you want to do for me is go up top and hit subscribe and like that button. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks.